Hello, everyone. So um, I'm here to talk about smart embedded vision on Polafire SOC FPGA. So smart embedded vision essentially is imaging and video applications, image processing and video processing that we've been working on, including AIML. My name is Krishna Kumar. I'm a senior product marketing manager at the FPGA business unit at Microchip. I go by the name KK, and so you have KK at microchip.com, so you're easy enough. So let me get started. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that you're familiar with uh, microchip technology. We are a, a total system solutions company. So essentially, if you are developing uh, ele any electronic product, chances are you've come across microchip, chances are you're using a microchip component on your system, or, or you can use one. We have various products in our portfolio. Uh, and in this um, session, I'm particularly going to be focusing on the Polify SOC FPGA, which is our RISC-V based SOC FPGA platform. So Polify SOC in Smart Embedded Vision. So what you see here is uh, a block diagram of our SOC FPGA. It's based on a five core, 64-bit uh, RISC-V processor subsystem. And all the light blue blocks you see here, uh, they're all hardened IPs available on the device. So um, we have high-speed interfaces, uh, dual gigabit inter uh, ethernet. We have uh, PCIe interface and, and so on. And right at the bottom here, you'd find our high-speed IOs and transceivers. We have up to 1.6 GBPS uh, IOs and uh, uh, up to 12.5 GBPS transceivers on it. And right in between, all the dark blue blocks are, are part of our FPGA. So these are soft IPs that you can port on our uh, FPGA fabric and enable a host of applications. So in the context of uh, this presentation, I'm, I'm particularly focusing on embedded imaging and, and video applications, including AI ML. So essentially, what you have with an SOC FPGA is, is a is an extremely capable microprocessor subsystem that can be extended beyond its capabilities using the FPGA fabric. So you want an HDMI interface? Yeah, we have it in our soft IP portfolio. You can put it on the fabric and extend the functionality. You want uh, an LVDS interface? You want, a, I don't know, uh, a, a 10 gig um, ethernet interface? Name it, and, and you get put it on our fabric and you can extend the functionality. Um, also, if you are, let's say, um, more familiar with embedded development and uh, not too familiar with FPGA development, we also have a tool for high-level synthesis. So you can develop your C or C++ code, your embedded development code, and uh, we're using our HLS compiler. You can translate it or compile it over to uh, RTL and, and even program the fabric. So even for those who are not familiar with FPGA development and programming, we have solutions for you. So uh, as an SOC FPGA uh, um, provider, what differentiates us? So our core strengths are, are like the way I'd, I'd like to call it, are uh, the three um, important things that forms our DNA. That would be low power, security, and reliability. So uh, for instance, let's say in an em uh, embedded vision application, you'd find that our FPGAs are three to eight watts lower power consuming than what's available from our uh, competitors. So what does that mean? So it enables us to be used in battery operated systems. You don't need uh, clunky um, heat sinks or, or uh, uh, fans in your systems. So you can really design sleek, uh, uh, sleek solutions. Also, we enable really small form factor design, so you can really uh, make sweet, sleek systems using our uh, FPGAs and SOC FPGAs. On top of it, um, we are the most popular um, FPGA um, company out there in terms for aerospace and defense applications. So they really care about reliability and security, and that's some of our core strengths as well. So if you ha want to have more discussions about our security and reliability capabilities, you can, you can catch me out here and, and we can have much more detailed conversation. Um, and coming to 
are FPGA fabric. So, uh, like I said, uh, we are talking about AI ML applications, and I'll show you some of the demos we have on uh, AI ML. And uh, our FPGA fabric uh, is uh, architected to have a four input LUT. So, typically in most AI ML applications, you would be doing a lot of uh, uh, matrix multiplications. And our uh, fabric is ideally suited to, to design the most efficient um, CNNs in them. So that's, that's, uh, that's what makes our um, FPGA design much more unique. So let me go a little bit deeper into what we have on the AIML flow. So our AIML solution is called the Vector Blocks SDK. Right, so we, we enable you to use our SDK. You can port over uh, your own model uh, using our SDK and port the solution over to our FBGA fabric. Uh, we, we support the vast majority of uh, the frameworks available out there. So chances are you're using one of these. And uh, all, all you can just uh, download a license for this from our website and port the solution over uh, to the FPGA fabric. In fact, we also have a, a vector blocks uh, simulator. So even before you ever touch uh, one of our FPGA boards, you can just, the, just use the vector block simulator and uh, have a sense of what kind of performance you're going to get. Right? So, so the, the entry barrier is really low. You can, you can get started with this pretty quickly. And, and, and for uh, our recommendation is that if you have your application that's going to need less than 300 GOPS of performance, uh, chances are our FPGAs would be really ideal for you. Um, I also want to talk about how we perform uh, versus competition because we, there are AIML solutions out there from, from quite a few players. So what you see here is a, is a spreadsheet, well, of course, with quite a few numbers and, and a bar chart to the right. So let me uh, get your attention to the bar chart. So what you see here, the first two bars you see out here are uh, the uh, power consumption figures of uh, some of our competitors. The dots you see on top are the performance uh, or, or GOPs of uh, the competitive solutions. So the first bar, for instance, you get a 333 giga operations per second of performance while it consumes about four watts of power, okay? And the next one is 166 giga operations per second uh, while it consumes 2.7 uh, watts of power. And the next three little bars that you see on the right, those are from uh, our solution, the vector blocks running on our uh, Polifier SOC FPGA. All right, so we have the V1000, V500, and V250. So based on the performance requirements of your system, you can pick one and, and select. So uh, for a sense of comparison right here, so let's look at the V1000 you'd find that uh, V1000 gives uh, a performance of 279 giga operations per second while consuming 1.3 watts. So in terms of performance, it's similar to what's offered by the first bar, pretty close, about 80% of that. And uh, it consumes one third the power, in fact, less than one third the power. So that's where we excel. So our uh, AIML solutions are available for the edge application. So they are available for the edge application. There are, these are systems that can run without heat sinks or fans, and it could even be possible to be used uh, in battery-operated conditions. So that's where we excel, and that's, uh, that's where uh, most of our customers use our, uh, our solutions. So how do we enable um, these solutions for you? So we have our, our hardware, uh, which is tailor-made for uh, imaging and video applications. We call it the Polify SOC SCV kit or, or the video kit. So what you see here is actually um, uh, tailor-made for uh, imaging applications. You will find two 4K uh, cameras built into this uh, uh, hardware. It has a MIPI CSI interface. Uh, we have dual uh, HDMI interface. One is an HDMI in and an HDMI out. Uh, we have uh, DisplayPort interfaces, MIPI uh, DSI interfaces, uh, dual gigabit ethernet interfaces, and so on. And, and we also have an FMC connector, so essentially, you can plug on any other FMC daughter card you want to it and extend the capabilities of this hardware, right? So this is available for you. In fact, you can see this hardware in, our, in the microchip booth and we have a few demos out there. So um, coming to demos, so 
Um, so these are some of uh, the demos we already have available on the Polify SOC FPGA focused on video and imaging applications. So let me go over a couple of them to give you a sense of what we've been working on. So for instance, this one, it's a simple design. It takes in a camera, uh, camera in uh, input on a MIPI CSI interface. It does an H.264 encode and transmit or transmits it over a gigabit uh, ethernet. Mind you, the way uh, we work is that the more efficient, most efficient path is to use the FPGA fabric to do the heavy lifting in, in terms of image processing, video processing. And we have uh, the MSS right across an AMBA AXI interface, which you can, from which you can communicate, control, uh, and, and interface with the FPGA data path. So that's one simple design. We do have an edge detection using OpenVX. We also have a, a face detection solution. What you see here is actually, this is actually is a video. So essentially you can either have a MIPI uh, CSI interface uh, going through uh, data flowing through the, the fabric or an HDMI input and you have our core vector blocks IP that, uh, that does the image inferencing algorithm and, and it transmits out over to the HDMI uh, interface again. Again here, uh, there are some level of communications happening between the microprocessor subsystem, which is the RISC-V-based processing subsystem, and uh, which controls and communicates with the uh, core vector blocks IP. So we also have our own HLS solution, like I said before. So you can, in fact, compare the performance or image processing, video pro processing performance on the microprocessor subsystem versus an accelerated solution on the fabric. So in fact, this, this demo is actually available at our booth right now. So if you're interested, you can go take a look. We also have a similar solution, um, essentially enabled by uh, the same vector blocks IP. And Okay, man. There you go. So this is a license plate detection, a license plate recognition demo. All right. So similar, a similar flow, as I said before, with the face detection, but the functionality quite different. This is a demo available with us as well. So essentially what we do with our um, uh, solution solutions is to enable you with our hardware and all these solutions are available from Microchip for you to, uh, to evaluate and take it forward in your designs. So these are all solutions from Microchip. I also want to take a moment to, to talk about our ecosystem. So we've been working with uh, a, a whole range of uh, third-party organizations. We call it the MiFi ecosystem. And uh, if, you're, if you're, let's say, your, uh, your requirement don't match completely with what's offered by Microchip, we have a host of third-party organizations who, who are part of the MiFi ecosystem. You need a different uh, development tool. We have a range of them available from our uh, ecosystem partners. You want to work on a different operating system or an RTOS, we have those available as well. Similarly, you, you want, if, you're, if you're not comfortable uh, designing your own uh, products or you need help with them, we have a range of design service organizations who have worked on our hardware, our tools, and so on. So they'll be able to help you out. Or similarly, hardware. You want to develop hard, uh, uh, help with developing your own custom hardware. We have partners doing that as well. All right. So, uh, Polifier SOC FPGA is is one of the uh, um, only SOC FPGAs based on Risk Five uh, that's going to be really available for at least the next 20 years. So I hope uh, you you can uh, take a closer look at uh, come to our booth, take a closer look at our solutions. And uh, if, you're, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them.